hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel okay guys so today we're gonna learn something totally different from my villain so i remember we learn french also learn english so i've seen we can just keep continuing like this so i've once like maybe once in a week we're gonna be studying science and today i'm gonna teach you science so what are you going to learn today in science so today we're gonna learn gases liquids and solids what are your means? We're gonna see. And as usual, don't forget to leave a very big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, and also share my video. Now let's get into this video. Okay guys, before we start first, what is a property? So, a property is something that we can see. Something that we can see using our senses. It will tell you what is the property of this pen. It's something that you can see. Maybe property of a pen needs maybe to have black or blue, everything the thing you can see. When they say property, it actually means its size, like how does it how is it shape? What is the property of a triangle? A triangle maybe need to be a triangle need to have maybe like oblique lines and I say two oblique lines and one horizontal line. That's a property. Yes. It needs to it maybe what's um the right of a right angle it needs to have ninety degrees. So that's something that you can see when you draw a right angle, right? So that is a property. Now we can go what our soul is, liquid and gas. What is a solid? So a solid is something that has its own size. How? Let's get an example with this pen. This pen is a solid because why? Because it has it its own size. Now another thing that can define also a solid is that a solid doesn't change size. If you take this pen, you put it here, it can change size. If you take this perfume, you put it here, it doesn't change size. Which means these are solids. Why? They have its own shape. It has its own shape. It is shape. When you broke it, so yeah. It breaks. It cannot again come back to it no more to or, or its original form. So yes, it has its own size and it can change when you deplace it. Now let's go to what are liquids. Okay, guys. Now what are liquids? So liquids are actual things that take the size of its container. So it does not have its own shape like a solid and it has only it's the amount, you can get the amount, but just the only difference is that it take the size or it can, it take the shape of its container. For example, look here, these two glasses full of water. Let's look at them really well. So here they are. As I said, they take the shape of its container. You see, this container, this glass, and this one are totally different. But as you can see, it takes the size of only its container. This one is actually going vertically. This one is a little bit large. So see, they have different shapes. When I put in, it keeps going like this. But then it just has the shape of its container. That's what they call a liquid. That was actually easy. Now let's go to words are actually what is a gas. Okay guys, a gas it actually is very different from what we are from saying. It's neither. A solid, you cannot see it, but it's totally different. How? It because a gas you cannot see it. It gas it's like air, something we can't see, yeah. So let's first this is a solid. This is a liquid. We can see liquids, you can see solid. But the real question is, can we actually really see so gases? Sorry? The answer is no, we cannot see gases. But then what is a gas? So a gas also takes the shape of its container. You see when you're filling in a balloon. Like the balloon is so tiny, but when you feel it, when you are putting in here, the ball, the balloon start getting bigger, start getting bigger, start getting bigger, 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 bigger. So what is inside is what we call a gas. It's a we cannot see it, we cannot see it, we cannot touch it. It's actually invisible, right? 
yeah so it take this the uh shape of each container same as a liquid but the only difference is that liquid we can see water but actually gas you can't see right a gas can also change size and the shape a gas also fill up its container it fills up like its container was like this now it became like this it is gas it just fell in there so this lesson actually was really easy and let's get some agreement we gotta see if this is actually a solid a liquid or a gas okay guys is this a solid a liquid or a gas three seconds to respond great job it is a solid but do we actually really have facts that it is a solid let's find out a solid has its own shape let's see Wait. great it has its own shape when you move it it can actually change no it can change so it is a solid yes and it also has its own weight. Let me put on a bonus. Wow, it has its own weight. Okay. This you have proof that it is a solid. Now the second area we're gonna actually need this. Or maybe we can also use this. What are in this? Is it gas, solid, or liquid? Three seconds to respond. Great. This is a liquid. Do you have facts? Let's see about its property. We said a liquid have shape of its container. Let's see. Let me first put all this water in here and then let's see if it can really have shape of its container. This is a container. This is another container. This one is actually totally different from this. Let's see if it can also get filled up. Yay! It can! It is a liquid. Look at it. It's taking the shape of the container. It's a little bit going zigzag and so on. It is a liquid. Now, let's go to another object that you can see if it, this is a liquid or this is a gas. But actually, a gas, we need to have a balloon, but actually I don't have a, you know, a gas. Even this air is smelling, this air is smelling. It's a gas. Why? We can see. We can touch it. We can feel it. But sometimes you can feel. When you do that, you can feel. Can you see it? Can you touch it? You can only feel it. So guys, that are high for you in this video. And as usual, don't forget to leave a very big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, and also share my video. Okay, you guys, see you next time. Bye!